I think pursuing any interest obsessively brings some, some value in itself. So for me, my obsession wasn't video games most of the time, although I played a lot of video games. Um, it was horses. And I, I spent all of my time thinking and talking and just being about horses. Um, and so I had internships here. And, and I think, man, on a daily basis, it's hard to take any, any particular set of things away from that. But I can say on a broader scale, I had confidence that even though, you know, my, when I was here at ABS, I was certain for a long time that I was going to be a horse trainer. And now I'm a software tester. Um, it didn't work out that way, but I knew how to learn about something through and through, and I knew that I could be good at whatever I just threw myself at. And I, and I learned how to throw myself at something. Um, so, it's really not answering your question. I'm sorry, but, but that's what comes to mind for me. Uh, you know, I, I would say that I think that's the beauty of this school is it's like getting lost in the internet. You start <laughs> in one place and you tend to snowball, and yes. like the, before you know it, you're someplace entirely different, and you've learned who the you know 89th king of France was or some such inane thing. But the thing is, along the way, you, you start picking things up. And you know, you may start with, you know, how are Krispy Kremes made? <laughs> and you end up in physics. And that's what happens with this school. And that's the beauty of it, is the school helps you learn how to learn. I mean, you, you start off just, if you started it, you know, for me, I, I came from a government school. And I hated any kind of classroom work, anything remotely resembling classroom work. It was awful. And I hated it because I'd had these things forced down my throat. But the more time I spent here, the more time I started off playing a video game, and then I noticed, you know, well, you know, the, 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 the image in this video game is so much cleaner and crisper and smoother than in this video game. And why is that? And then you get into, you know, pixels and soft you know, you know, screen refresh rate, and then you start, you know, just going down these these graphics engines and like, you know, you start learning more and more and obviously I don't know a ton about games, but uh, you start learning, you know, the osmosis of just being around one thing and having the freedom to, if something interests you, follow it. And if it doesn't, you can set it aside and come back to it later. And so that's the thing is like, it may be, you know, oh, I spent the whole day playing video games. But at the same time, as you're playing those video games, you just kind of end up elsewhere. And it's, it's, that's the beautiful thing about this school. It's, you just, you never know where the day is going to take you. And I feel sorry for my parents because I went home to them and <laughs> I explained to them what I did that day. Oh, I stood in front of the judicial committee because I ate cheese whiz in one of the rooms I wasn't supposed to eat in. <laughs> oh, so I, I once tried to argue that cheese whiz was a liquid and not solid, therefore I wasn't breaking the no food rule. You were drinking it. I was drinking it, yeah. Straight from the... I won that. Oh my god, <laughs> handily won that case. I yeah. really tried to win that. It was I am embarrassed. <laughs> but that's what my parents heard, you know? This ridiculous story about how I, you know, but at the same time I spent the whole day understanding how a, a judicial system works and, and dealing with it firsthand. And at the same time, you know, I, I'm I, I experienced so many things throughout that day that it's it's hard to quantify, you know. As as Melissa said, you know, there's she loves statistics. That's kind of not what this school is about, unfortunately, is there are no statistics. Like, unless you were there all day, which, you know, would ruin the experience of the child, you don't know what they do. And they're going to come home, they're going to tell, oh, I played video games all day. But they didn't tell you that they did that, you know, hour-long stint of learning mathematics so that they could beat this one level because you've got to use the, you know, the, the golden rule to get past this. You know, or some other theorem. You know, just you never know. And I'm I'm sorry that I can't give you a, on a day to day. It's just it's not going to happen because all I remember is playing video games. But it's, you know, picked up other things along the way. I'm sorry, I ramble. <laughs> James, what do you think you got out of playing video games? I think kind of I guess it's kind of expanding on Aubrey's point. But I think the biggest thing I got out of video games was like was in, like learning my interests and learning how I wanted to manage my interests. You know, I like video games, but suddenly, oh, look at this other thing that I like. I'm going to go do that. And then I might like that other thing more. Or 
my interest in video games has driven a lot of my what I've pursued and you know in my, I guess now my career um, is now I'm in IT I like computers for, for a big reason because I played video games for my entire life um, and it's it's taught me so much and it's given me such a desire to learn how they work and other and um, that that's the the path I went down 